Hello GDQ, my name is Nerd Squared, and today I'll be submitting Manifold Garden. Uh, with my other submission for this game, I did all god cubes, but today I'll be doing any percents. Uh, in particular, I'll be going for the standard ending, just like I did in all god cubes, except we'll be skipping a bit more of the game. In fact, we'll be skipping around 95% of that, or 95% of it, <laughs> and we'll get to that in a second, but... Uh, one thing I want to explain real quick before we get going is uh, there is a secret ending to the game, which I did say in my alt god cube submission I'll be submitting as a donation incentive because it's a short two minute speedrun compared to the ten minute run that you'll see here. But for this submission we'll be focusing on the standard ending as it's called, which is basically the ending you would get in a casual playthrough. And as well, you'll notice in these splits that there's NG in parentheses for the category name. Uh, that stands for No Garnier, and I'll explain what that's about once we get to the end. But yeah. Well, I'll go ahead and get this rolling, because I already explained how the game works in my All God Keep submission. Uh, timing for this game starts when we select the save file here. So 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so as said, this is any percent. Uh, the route at the start here is going to look a little different from all god cubes, although it's going to look the same for the first few rooms here. Just have to place these cubes as normal. So we're going to do our first cube clip here. Basically, by uh, causing a lag spike and then uh, moving the camera real fast like that, uh, we can bring the cubes through walls with us, and for all god cubes we just put in that receptacle there, but since we're doing any percent we're going to take the cube with us, uh, because we're going to use it for the trick that I alluded to at the start that will allow us to skip 95% of the game. First we have to take this cube and drop it on this island here that we're going to, that the door is in that we're going to clip through. And I did a bit of a yellow drop there. Uh, it's a little faster than just dropping down to the island there and dropping the cube. It does carry with a bit of risk though, because if your positioning is wrong, uh, the cube will either end up in a tree that's hard to get to, or uh, it'll just fall off the world. Uh, we do have a handy, uh, some handy backups for that. Uh, if the cube falls off the world or despawns or something, uh, we can just respawn or spawn a normal cube from the debug menu. So we won't have to worry about soft locking if that happens. This start has actually been pretty clean so far. Anyways, uh, this is the route improvement I was talking about for this category. Um, we used to do a much slower route, but we just get two cubes. Uh, one cube at the start there, and then one cube in that room I just left. Because we're going to use it for our first lag flight. Uh, as said, we um, take the cube with us into this little portal here. I'm going to activate the portal and uh, ideally lag plate the cube through here, although it seems I messed it up. There we go. Took a bit of finag finagling there, but we got the cube through. Uh, so we use both those cubes to go through this portal. Uh, this is the portal we would go through if we got the first god cube as intended. Uh, and we're about to skip the other five, uh, because the door we're about to get to just down here is the door we would enter if we had all six god cubes. Uh, however, we can just clip through the side here, and now we are in the final world, uh, otherwise known as World 800. And I'm going to go for a strat here on this tree. Uh, the puzzle here is you're supposed to redirect the water here using some cubes, but instead I'm going to try to climb this tree and take the cube with me. And this saves around 10 seconds as opposed to doing it the intended way. So we can just put the cube in here. So you'll notice uh, throughout this run, uh, I'll be doing all these gravity flips. Uh, of course, it's the main mechanic of the game that you use to solve the puzzles, but uh, we can use it to our advantage to get all these setups where we uh, fall down and to go to the next point where we clip, or go rather to where the next puzzle is, because uh, the movement speed that you get while falling is around five times faster than just regular sprinting, so we'll want to do that pretty much all the time. 
And the points where we flip to get the faster movement speed uh, is very carefully planned out. Any percent in particular has its gravity flip points pretty well optimized. And I'd say this is actually the most competitive category of the game. It has the most runners of any category. And I am second place in the category right now. Uh, and I worked very hard for that run. Because the person who was second place before me had a very, very good run. It's a runner by the name of Preshing. And he was a lot, he was the big strat innovator for this game back when it was first being ran. So these next few puzzles are pretty straightforward. Uh, it's not anything too technical, it's just calculated gravity flips. And then a wall clip at the end of this room. Uh, while we go through this hallway, I will talk about the next puzzle of note, which is 806. Uh, 806 is called that because the level code is 806. Uh, each level of the game has a level code associated with it, and 806 is the level code for 806, of course. Uh, 806 used to be the worst puzzle in the entire speedrun, at least for the wall clip categories, because uh, it features these large tetramino blocks, and the speed of the tetramino blocks, at terminal velocity at least, is extremely slow. And so we don't have to, want to have to deal with that. Uh, normally the puzzle would take around 15 seconds, or not 15, but 50 seconds to a minute or so. But we found out since a trick called door clipping was discovered, which I explained in my old God Keep submission, uh, that we can clip past the door at the end of the puzzle room here for 806. And that trick being found is huge because the d door at the very end, this puzzle in particular, was a really slowed down run to this game, any percent in particular. But we can just clip past it now. And the way we do that is to take this trusty yellow cube with us. Uh, we're going to use it at the very end here to clip through this door. Door clips are a little more particular than uh, wall clips because um, of the weird geometry that you can see here. But this door in particular is pretty weak because we just place the cube there and we clip through. Uh, how cube clips actually work, by the way, is um, you place the cube at your feet and if certain conditions are met, um, the cube pushes you backwards, and if you're next to a wall when that happens, you get pushed through the wall. As said with doors, it's a little more particular, but uh, with that door in particular in 806, it's not so much of a trouble. So I mentioned at the start of the run that there's this thing called Garnier. Uh, I, I mentioned as well that there's this secret ending. Uh, the Garnier hallway is pretty much how you access the secret ending. And there's a way to get to the Garnier hallway to get to this very last puzzle here before the god cube and if you do that run it's around five minutes as opposed to ten minutes like i'm showing here uh but this particular subcategory just allows the use of the garnier hallway and w which allows for more traditional speed run in a sense i'm gonna save and load here once i get this dark seed this is, which is the only dark seed you get in the run um Because uh, there's an animation that plays once you plant, or once you activate the generator here, where a bunch of lasers activate. But by saving and loading, uh, we get to skip the animations and just grab the dark seed straight away. Also, with that save and load trick, particular for that dark seed, um, you, there's a about 60% chance that this cutscene breaks, but we didn't get it which is nice, because this cutscene is one of the best cutscenes in the game. I mentioned this in my old God Cube submission as well. Uh, this game is very gra gorgeous graphically, and I want people to experience it. It's I think it's, I personally think it's the visuals of this game and the gra whole gravity flipping mechanic is augmented by the cool movement pass you can do in a speedrun. Granted, 80% only shows a small part of that, but it's still a pretty fun category. Okay, we have this uh, quick walk up to this tree where we're going to plant this guy cube. I'm going to do a trick where I, with the setup where I count to two, I fall off a ledge, 
and after I count to two, I let go of my movement keys. And if I do the setup right, I will land on top of some invisible geometry so I can go to the end section of the game. Alright, one, two. Hopefully I land. We'll know we'll land if I hear a thunk. There we go. And we got it, cool. If, uh, if you move too far to the right there, you fall off. So you gotta be careful with that one. And I'll, I'll, as well, I did some gravity flips there. Uh, by doing those, I teleported past a trigger that would have prevented me from flipping gravity. You're normally supposed to just run down that ending runway, but if you do the gravity flips I did, um, you can just fall to the very end, and it saves around 28 seconds. We're gonna fall down to the bottom here. And timing is timing ends when the kaleidoscope appears at the bottom. And it's pretty easy to tell when that'll happen because uh, there'll be a sh very sharp sound. Sub 10 as well, that's a very nice run. Considering how hectic this game can be, as I explained in the Alt God Cube submission, it's honestly insane that I was able to get a sub 10 run while commentating. That's very, very good for sure. But yeah, I won't keep you waiting too longer, too much longer. Uh, that's been my submission for all god cubes, or not all god cubes. <laughs> Any percent standard ending, no Garnier. Uh, I'll be submitting all god cubes alongside this as well, and I'll be submitting the secret end any percent as a donation incentive. But yeah, I've been Nerd Squared. Uh, oh, great. Well, by the way, this isn't going to be the main submission that I'll be shooting for with this game. Uh, the main thing to look at, as I said, and the other submission is all god cubes, but any percent I'm submitting anyway as a side thing in case a shorter run is wanted. But I think all god cubes is going to be the main one to look at. But anyways, won't keep you waiting any longer because this cutscene does go on for a bit. So I've been Nerd Squared. This is Manifold Garden. Any percent uh, standard ending, and hoping to see my run.